All right, well, hello there. It is Monday, April 15th, and that means that there's going to be two live sales today. So I'll have the morning sale, which I did. I've got the table all set up so we can talk about the morning sale, what sold, what is still available. The still available is the buy it now portion of the video. So I'll have one buy it now section for the morning sale, and then I'll have another buy it now section for the evening sale. Uh, let's see, what else? Um, <laughs> Mondays are always busy, busy in a good way. Very, very good way, but they are busy days, which is good because then Monday doesn't kind of get you dragged down <laughs> because it's Monday. <laughs> All right. Um, so I do the morning sale. I do that at 1130 Eastern, uh, every Monday. And um, for the sale, let's see. Oh, there's my sheet. I lost my sheet for a second. I can't always remember where I put it. Uh, I brought 63 items to the sale. I sold 49 of them. So thank you. Big, big thank you to everyone um, who came and hung out with me uh, for the sale. If you were in the chat, if you were one of the purchasers, I appreciate you being at my sale. Um, it's fun. It's fun seeing everybody in the morning and hanging out with, with everybody. It's awesome. Uh, which means that there are 14 items left. So let's take a look at those 14 items and I'll give you prices on those. So if you would like to purchase anything that I show, you can send me an email or you can leave a comment in the video. Um, either way works. So let me flip this. All right. So here we go. Here are the 14 items that are left. You can see that I brought little knickknacks and um, I brought jewelry. Uh, let's see. So up first is this is a little precious moment. I kind of thought it was Easter because of the colors, but I'm not 100% sure now. So she has a little apple pie and she has a little basket of something. Now, I will let you know she is no longer glued in here. Um, I'm not going to glue her because I just don't want it to damage anymore for when I do ship her out. But she just needs a little spot of glue. And this says, ooh, there we go, 1989, I think is what it says <laughs> as, it, as it goes out of being focused again. Um, and she is just $1. Ooh, can I get her back in there? There we go. So $1 for the little figurine. Uh, next is this beautiful silver tone ring. It is adjustable. I'll show you the back there. It is currently at a size seven and a half, but it can go bigger. And that one is $2. A pair of silver tone earrings. Uh, not a real pearl. Uh, I don't believe it's a real stone either. I could be wrong, but I don't think so. Uh, but those earrings are $2. Then I have the silver tone and red earrings. These are also $2. And this beautiful pair of iridescents. Uh, some kind of a coating on these has it pick up the light and it kind of color changes as the light hits it. Uh, those are $2. This uh, gold tone pair of earrings with the gold beads. I know it's really hard to tell, but this bead on the bottom. Oh, there you can kind of see it. You can see that little bit of rainbow. It does look like it has an Aurora Borealis coating on that bottom one. Uh, those earrings are $2. And then I have this little um, chick egg holder. Now he took a little nosedive, I think at some point, and his little beak 
Yep, he got a little damage there. I don't know who made him, uh, but he is just $1 for the egg holder. Uh, let's see. Oh, next is this ring. So it is the color of turquoise. However, I do believe it is howlite that has been colored um, the color of turquoise. This ring, silver tone ring, is a size seven and a half, and it is three dollars. I have this totem pole that I don't think is made out of wood. I believe it's resin made to look like wood. It has a little a label on the back, says made in Canada by Boma, hand painted. So I do believe that this is some kind of a resin or composite that's been in a mold and then hand painted. Uh, so that one is $3. Uh, this does appear to be a little wooden monkey. And I do think he is carved out of wood. Could be, could be some kind of a composite in a mold also, but... I don't know, he just has some detailing on him that makes me think wood. Uh, he's also $3. And I have a little, oh gosh, what is this called? A tuk-tuk. So I believe these are used a lot as taxis. This one is out of wood. And it's also $3. Uh, this is a candle holder by Party Light. Oops, I think that's upside down. There, nope, I had it right the first time. <laughs> oh, that is by Party Light. And the outside has uh, the appearance of like a brushed silver. And then the inside, oh gosh, let me see if it's going to show. Oh, it still is showing purple. All right, um, it was showing purple during the sale. I just wasn't sure if that was my lighting or if it was still gonna continue to show purple, and it is. So purple and silver tea light holder and, by Party Light, and that is $3. Uh, then we have the ceramic house. And we think this is Sweden. So, um, oh gosh, and I can't remember who did the research, but thank you, thank you, thank you so much for the research. We think that this is um, from Sweden. So that is also $3. And then I have one more pair of earrings. These are silver tone red center with clear rhinestones all around and these earrings are five dollars oh i forgot one of one more ring hang on one of the rings which is this one uh so this is a sterling ring with the vermel gold vermel so it is like a, a gold over the sterling. Um, it does have a red center, clear rhinestones around, and then clear rhinestones on the sides. This ring is a size seven and a half, and it is $8. All right, now I was gonna do the count before I turned on the video and I forgot. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Oh, I have fifteen. I thought I only had fourteen. Well, I've got fifteen items for sale. Oh, there we go. Uh, so let's go ahead and take a look at the forty-nine, maybe forty-eight items that sold. Uh, this one, yeah, this was a broken piece, but if somebody wanted to use it for crafting, maybe glue it back together for a little gnome garden, 
Um, I try to at least offer things up for free. Um, add it to the box at no cost, really. Um, yeah, so some little figurines. Uh, some more jewelry. Some beautiful rings. Have some earrings. Um, a small amethyst pendant. And then I also had a larger amethyst pendant. Some souvenir spoons. Uh, these rings also have stones in them. We've got the brass ox. A really nicely made dream catcher. And then some stone um, bracelets. And some rings and earrings. All right, let me flip this back. All right, well, I am going to go ahead and um, get this cleared off. And I'm going to meet you over by the front door to uh, talk about the mail. All right, well, I am up here by the front door showing the 12 packages that are heading out today. <laughs> and Joe. <laughs> So there are the 12 packages. Um, all right, well, I am working um, on getting the table cleared and uh, taking the items that sold upstairs. Uh, I did have to go run upstairs real quick and count packages for the number of packages that I have in my hold area, uh, which is currently at 15 packages. Um, I did just get notification of two more payments that came in. So thank you very much. And I will be getting those packages ready to go out um, tomorrow. And, um, and then, yeah, we'll do another count tomorrow and show you how many packages are going out. Uh, but I am going to be having pickup tomorrow. Uh, so that'll be easier for me um, to uh, just kind of stay here and uh, get the packing and invoicing done. All right, well, I am gonna finish up um, for the table, get that transitioned for the afternoon sale, and then I will see you next and we'll talk about what's sold and what is still available from the second sale on Monday. All right, well, it is after the evening sale and I've got the table all set up so we can talk about what's sold and what is still available. So this is the second part of the Buy It Now sale. So I will be showing the items. I'll be giving the prices of the items. And if you are interested in purchasing, just uh, send me an email or leave a comment down below and I'll reply back to you. Um, and I wanna thank everybody who took time to come and join us on Monday night. Um, you know, there's there's always a lot going on on YouTube and other platforms, and it's it's really really makes um, makes everything so enjoyable, and um, you you brighten our day when you are um, in the chat and having fun and joining us. And yeah, I just want to truly appreciate everyone. And thank you, thank you, who um, took the time and came out and, um, and spent the evening with us. Um, it was a lot of fun. And um, yeah, and you know, if you weren't able to join us this week, well, put it on your calendar for next week so that you are able to join Jen and I on our Monday night sale. And that is at 6 p.m. Eastern, 5 Central, and 3 Pacific. All right, so let's go ahead and talk about the sale. Uh, we bring 15 items. I sold four items which means that 11 are still available. So let me go ahead and turn the camera around and we'll go through those items. All right, so here they are up on the table. 
all of the items and uh, yeah we're gonna go through those one by one and take a closer look at them uh, up first this is a really cute little woven basket but on the inside there are six coasters and these are big um, like four inch four and a half inch coasters they are in fantastic condition there are six of those in there and the basket, and that is $6. Uh, this, probably made in Japan, there is a name on the bottom. It is hand-painted wood. There is the inside, and that one is $7 for the basket. Uh, this is a ceramic canister. It does have a nice ceiling uh, top on it. So if you put something in here, that's definitely going to help keep it fresh. This was made in China. Um, I don't know when. Beautiful flowers around. And as you may have seen, the little butterfly on top. Uh, this one is $8 for the jar. Uh, this plate is a 1924 calendar plate. So yep, it is a hundred years old. It's from South Dakota. Now if you notice running down the back of the dog, there is a scratch in the design. But that plate is a $5. Uh, up here is a very large six inch by six inch flower sifter. It is in beautiful condition. It's got a painted wood handle. Um, if you don't bake, but you like displaying vintage uh, kitchen items, this is in really nice condition. Uh, that is $8. This, I believe, is a drinking glass. It's frosted on the bottom, clear on the top. I don't know who made this. Um, it, Google and eBay and everybody ha just cannot find this image. So unsure who made that. Um, no flea bites, no chips, cracks, nothing. It's totally smooth. Uh, this is $6. Uh, this lovely pedestal, little serving plate, nice reticulation, beautiful fruit. Not sure who made this. Uh, there's no marking on the bottom, just some really old hardware. And that is a $10. This is a lovely blue glass little lidded jar, small candy dish. And that is $10. Did you hear that bang? That was Faye trying to get into the cabinet. Faye, Faye, that's enough. I don't know what she's going to do when she gets it open. Uh, this is a pair of red glass sherbets. Uh, this is um, by Anchor Hawking. And they are, oh, now she gave up. She's walking back. <laughs> uh, they are $10 for the pair. This is a coffee pot, a teapot, um, a hot water pot. A hot chocolate pot. <laughs> it does have a label for rooster tea, and that is on the front and the back side. Uh, this is a made in China piece. Again, not sure when that was made, and it says um, Bay Island Ink on it. Uh, that is $15. And then this is a Russian bear. And uh, thank you to the person who looked that one up and found, I could not tell if it was ceramic or what it was made out of, but they found it. It's from the 1970s and it is made out of wood, 
hand painted and it does still have the remnants of its Russian sticker on the bottom. And he is $18. All right, so those are the 11 items that are still available. Let's go ahead and take a look at the four that sold. Uh, I have this beautiful blue rock. Um, and again, some wonderful person in the chat looked that up and said that was blue quartz. So thank you for that. Uh, this, oh, you're not going to be able to see that. This is a little stone carved blue uh, bird. So blue stone carved bird. Um, a wood bowl, beautiful pattern on that wood bowl. And then I had a second 1924 plate. This one's from North Dakota with some lovely fruit on it. Um, and those are the four items that sold. All right, I'm gonna switch this back around. All right, I am going to uh, go ahead and clear the table off from the evening sale. And then I am gonna go ahead and start setting up for uh, the sale tomorrow. Um, I always like to get a little jump start on it so I'm not, <laughs> I'm not as rushed in the morning. Although some mornings I am, I am a little rushed. <laughs> uh, but that is what I am going to do next. Um, I'm going to keep things organized upstairs. You know, I'm trying to keep things organized by person. So far the system's working and I'm going to keep it that way. But um, that is going to wrap up the vlog for today. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you tomorrow.